just added it. But I was reading In the Belly of the Beast, you know that book, Norman Mailer? And um, that was really helpful because it was also, the time period is, is similar, which is earlier in The Belly of the Beast, but um, that was helpful to, to, to read that book as I was shooting, you know what I mean? And, and uh, that, that informed a lot of what I, my imagination, because it was kind of left up to, it was, it was, it was tough because uh, the scenes are truncated, they're mid-conversation, a lot of them. Yeah. So you have to create a reality before the scene starts. It's pretty intense, you know. And then there's the relationship, you know, which Hillary and I, thank God, you know, we had really good chemistry, you know. And Hillary's a force of nature. I mean, she really, she always brings her, her A game. And so, you know, I was bringing my A game, you know. I mean, she's really like, she's the real deal, you know. She's, I, I mean, she's like, I compare her to like Gene Hackman some of the great actors that I've been fortunate enough to work with, you know, like John Malkovich and Robert De Niro. I mean, she's Patty Clarkson. You know, I mean, she's really, um, Hillary's that kind of actor. She comes there prepared. She knows that she goes over the dialect, you know. And it, it was an intimidating dialect to uh, do, too, because, you know, a lot of people like to criticize that dialect because if it's not done well... And, which one is it? Is it's it, a bo- it's, it's a Boston. Boston, but it's rural sort of. Yeah, right? it's kind of. I mean, you know, Betty Ann's is a little more uh, Rhode Island, maybe, or not necessarily. You have to ask Hillary about that. But so there's that. You know, you got to do the accent, and and so. Do you work with a coach when you do? Yeah, that? yeah. We had one of the best in the business, Liz Hamilstein, and um, couldn't have done it without her. So, and I had less time to learn it. Um, but it was fun. By the end of it, it was really fun, you know, the, the the cadence, and it was fun to play around with it. So when you're doing a dark part like this, and you've yeah. got a chip on his shoulder, and he's almost suicidal, and, you know, he's just really going down the tubes, um, do, is it really hard to do, or do you just snap out of it? And you know, I think often, I think I heard Duvall talk about, like, this once, uh, or ask him about The Godfather or something, like, heavy scenes, and... You know, often you're going to, you need moments of levity between takes. You know, you need to joke around because it's too heavy. Yeah. It's so, the reality is so intense that you, you can't, you can't be in that all the time. You know, you have, you need a good amount of time to prep before a scene. You can't, you can't always jump start right away. You got to kind of warm up into it. I do. Some actors are better at that. I find women are better at that, accessing their emotion at the drop of a hat. Um, and then there's miracle workers like, Philip Seymour Hoffman and John Malkovich, who have this great emotional power that they can access very quickly. That I have, I need to have a few cups of coffee and, you know, listen to some music or something and do whatever I got to do. But, um, but I think often you need to joke around, you know, between takes because it's so intense. This prison stuff was really, <laughs> it was intense, you know. And we had this reshoot thing. I don't know if they told you about the reshoot. We, right. You know, we, we had to reshoot a 16-hour day. Uh, one of the most, probably the hardest day, definitely the hardest day in the prison for us. We had to re. It was this film was destroyed in an X-ray, so we had to re go back and shoot it. And um, it was better actually. It was a great lesson. It was actually like uh, not unlike doing a play. You know, and Tony's theater trained, so um, and I think Hillary is too. And so we went in there with that attitude. You if you can do it eight times a week, you can do this. We can do this again. Cool. Yeah. Cool. Do you think of yourself as a theater actor first? I do. I mean, I've been doing theater since I was 10 years old, so my parents were in, it, in the theater, so I grew up in it. Um, but uh, oddly enough, I did my first Broadway play, you know, at the age of 40. So I, I t- it took a while for me to get on the big boards, you know. But I've been doing off-Broadway a long time. And was it great? It was great. When I was with, uh, a lot of my scenes were with, with the great Chris Walken, and he's a theater animal. I mean, he thrives up there. He loves it. How yeah. long was your run? It was about, it was a short one for Broadway, but very long for me. Four months, maybe. Five, Whoa. Five months. And you adapted to that. Yeah, I mean, I've been doing theater. I mean, the longest run I'd ever done was maybe three months off Broadway, but, uh, yeah, you, you know, you learn stuff. It's interesting. It's interesting. You learn stuff. So in a way, that was what was fun about that reshoot, is that 
we didn't we didn't set out to repeat what we had done because we felt we were like patting each other on the back like you know wow that was great we did what we kicked ass you know and then the film was lost so we had to recreate so we didn't instead of taking on the attitude of trying to recreate what we had done we said with Tony and I and Hillary both were like we're all how can we make it better because it was good but let's make it better you know and we and you did and we did we did actually by some miracle we did. And um, I think just sheer tenacity. Uh, the, the fucking crew had to come back in the prison. Nobody wanted to go back in that prison. You know, nobody wanted to be there when we went to do that reshoot. So where were the real prisoners? Um, the real prisoners, well, the, the part of it was a working prison, I think. And part of it was not. So It was sequestered. So we had, yeah, we had a, a section that was dead. Uh-huh. You know, that we could shoot But it in. still bummed you out. Well, yeah, it's a real prison. I mean, those cells are um, very claustrophobic, you know. I think I'd been in a real prison cell in Tennessee for the Green Mile, but we shot most of that on the lot. Um, so the stuff in this movie was shot in real cells, and I was just amazed how small those cells were. And you know what else I was amazed by? Is, is how the thing about those cells is there's no privacy absolutely none you're really exposed to everybody it's it's a, it's really something and a, and loud really loud so you get a sense of what the, what's going on with these guys they got no privacy and it's so loud imagine trying to sleep you know so you've had a lot of great roles obviously yeah. um, was moon the most difficult that you've ever had to do Moon was definitely one of the doozies, you know. I would put that in with, uh, you know, Confessions of a Dangerous Mind and Snow Angels. Although Snow Angels, I had a lot of, I had time off. Um, it was kind of a supporting role, so I could kind of. No, you were, that was a tough role. That was.